Hey gang, uh, today we're going to do a great jam session tune, and that is John Mayer's Waiting on the World to Change. Great R&B type of uh, chord progression, and a really neat song. I love the music in this one. Uh, you just heard the guitar solo up front, which is kind of what Mayer played. Uh, but we'll do another guitar solo. We'll show you how to play basically the whole thing and improvise it. And we'll show you some ideas around the chords. So anyway full lesson coming up today all right as usual if you like this go ahead and click the like button and if you haven't yet subscribe for one of these or more every single week okay see you in just a second all right gang uh, let's go over this now close up we'll go over this is gonna be fairly long so uh, let me explain kind of what we're going into we'll cover the chords then we'll cover John Mayer's more or less John Mayer's note for note solo then we'll cover the solo that I compose that you also heard and um, that's just it's not very hard but it just kind of gives you an idea of what you can do uh, to compose your own solo and then we'll have some fun and improvise okay giving you some ideas all right so there's a few things that are going to help you with that that you can download or print out or whatever you want to do so th one of them is the tab so in the tab it's got the mayor solo it's got my solo uh, tabbed out and then it's got some of the chord voicings tabbed out okay so that's going to help Second thing is there's a couple or there's a, a link to a backing track which you can put on yourself, play and have fun with. All right. So have a blast with that. Third thing is there's two other links. Now, instead of rehashing a lot of ground that's already been covered with the chords, um, there's two additional videos where I provide a lot more chord voicings in. One is called, I think, the only three chords you'll ever need or something like that. Um, which is uh, taps out all of the, the chord voicings I think that you could use, or not that you could use, but some additional ones that you could use. And then another one is called Hendrix, uh, J Jimi Hendrix John Mayer Chords or something like playing Jimi Hendrix John Mayer Chords. And so I'll put a link to both those videos in there as well. That should serve, th both of those should serve you in good stead. All right, so before we do anything, let's talk a little bit about the sound. Now, obviously, I'm using an S-style guitar, and I'm playing out of the neck pickup, all right? I'm, uh, I've am i got a little bit of the tone rolled off, and all tone knobs sort of vary, so you know your mileage may vary on that one. Uh, and then I've got a little reverb. On the solos, I'm using some compression, and that's just to get a little extra sustain. Now... Contrary to what everybody tells you, you do not need a Strat to play John Mayer, okay? If, you only if your only guitar is a Les Paul, my goodness, just pick that up and play this, okay? So what you can do, for example, if you're using a humbucker, number one, make sure it's clean. Number two, you might want to boost the treble a little bit and take out a little bit of the mid-range, take out a little of the bass. And uh, then the third thing is you might want to... Uh, not use the compression because you might not need it to get the sustain. So anyway, just kind of play around with things until you get a sound that's, it's not going to be exactly John Mayer, it's not going to be exactly a Strat, but it's going to be close enough for you to make good music out of it, all right? And that's the whole point of this stuff. All righty. <laughs> with that said, let's get on to the chords. And I'm just going to show you the basic chords and then a couple of the interesting, I think interesting voicings that you can use. So let's get to it. All right, so the main chord progression is D to B minor, G to D. That's the first half. Then we've got A to B minor, and then G to D. Okay, now, very cool chords. They're all in the key of D. 
So uh, basically, this is a song that's completely in the key of D, or you can think of it as B minor. Either of those ways of thinking is fine. B, th thinking of it as in the key of B minor is fine. Thinking of it as, as in the key of D is fine. They both share the same notes. All right. So you can just bang out those chords, and it'll sound just fine. <laughs> Okay, but you heard what I did there at the very end. And that was playing a different inversion of that D and also playing that little Hendrixy thing. So there's lots of things that you can do. Of course, Mayer doesn't usually bang out chords. He usually plays little snippets. And so I'll show you at least the way that I, um, I uh, approach it. Now, I'm not a thumb player. And Mayer plays a lot with his thumb. And that's great. You can generate a great sound with that. I tend to not do that. So um, what I do is I play triads primarily, and I play triads based on the four, three, and two strings. Let me give you an example of that, and I'll just show you. There's lots of different voicings for all these chords, but let me just show you right here the voicings. Instead of playing this, chord, this D, which is uh, from five to two, it's... Uh, five, seven, 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 right? Instead of playing that, I just play seven, seven, seven on four, three, on four, three, and two strings. And that gives me the essence of the chord, right? So I can play. And that's my D to B minor. You see how I, now I'm playing the B minor. Instead of playing that whole thing, I'm just playing four, three, and two. Right? Makes it very easy. Okay, now I'm going to play a G. Oh my goodness, didn't I even have to move, did I? And back to D. All right, the other thing that's really good about this is it gives me free fingers to be able to play extensions. And you hear Mayer doing that all the time. You know, that kind of stuff, right? So... I would advise, you know, kind of doing that. Like I said, those two links that uh, that are there and um, that are that are there in the video are going to help you with those, uh, with playing those on the triads and just you know develop your own style on that. There's other things that you can do as well by playing sixths and fourths, you know, or thirds, or you know, uh, sixths. All sorts of things that you can do with this song that are going to sound really cool. And like I said, a lot of the things are covered in those other videos. So have fun with it. I do want to show you at least one. Let me give you one example of that, um, of just how simple you can play these things. Of this one right here. So this one is... Um, um, that little phrase right there would be, if you imagine just playing on the third and second string, so it's just two, it's just a little double stop there, on the nine and eight. But I'm not really going to play those both. I'm going to slide that up. I'm going to play the, on the ninth and slide up a whole step and keep that uh, same relationship. So I'm sliding up to 11 and then 10 on the second. And then just playing this. That's seven and seven, which is just a snippet of the D, right? It's just a little piece of it. So that can sound really cool. Imagine you're playing. Very cool, right? Uh, anyway, have a lot of fun with that one. Practice those little triads and dyads and... Uh, You've got the chords, okay? So the other chords that are in the song, there it is a little bit different. There's a transition that's there that goes uh, from D to E minor. And then B minor 7th to E minor 7th. Now anytime you, anytime you play a minor, a minor 7th, you can substitute those in, and it's going to sound fine in these songs. You can play the minor. So, so anyway, so that's a transition. And that's it's that's hard to beat the system, you know that part. It's hard to beat the system.
Okay, and that's that. The only other thing that's in there is that little um, uh, transition over that vamp uh, in the bridge, right? And that's basically over uh, B flat major seventh chord. <laughs> Now there's horns in there that are playing or something, and the guitar is really just going like this. And that's basically it for the guitar. It's not doing much at all. Um, so, you know, have fun with that one. Uh, on that one, I'm just playing over either that B-flat major seventh chord or I'm just playing that, that from seven to eight on the fifth string. Well, let's go over the next piece, which is the Mayer solo. Uh, okay, so uh, very cool solo from John Mayer. I like this kind of stuff. I really do. He doesn't overplay, which I love about him. <laughs> um, he's just playing, uh, you know, basically the stuff to really let the listener hear things. All right, so uh, the first one is, is this. Let me put on the compression. Okay, so first of all, that's all on the second string. At least that's how I'm playing it. And I love it. It feels like it floats to me. So I'm starting out on the second string on the seventh. This is all on the second string. Starting out on the seventh. Giving it some vibrato. And then I'll play... So that's five, hammer on to seven, slide up to ten. Okay, and then we'll play seven, hammer on to ten, slide up to twelve. And vibrato. And then again, ten, hammer on to twelve, slide up to fifteen. Okay, so so far we've got... So, pretty cool so far. All right, so then we'll play. So that's just hammer, uh, uh, that's 12, hammer on to 15, slide up to 17. And then we'll do a whole step bend on the 17th. Play the 15th. Okay, and then the last line is this, or the last piece is this. So we're playing f uh, 19, and we're putting a half step bend up, down, up, down, up, down a few times and then playing 15 at the end. Okay, and that's it. That's the whole first piece, okay? And that's over the... Uh, um, Okay, so that's half of, that's one, so it's going to do two of those. So the second time through, um, it does nothing. It's just kind of letting the, uh, the, um, the keyboard and the rest of the instruments play over this, over. Okay, and then, it, and then we do this over the, uh, over that, we'll play. So uh, over the A uh, to B minor, we play this. Now, you can play it all on second string, but I, I decided to make it a little bit easier for myself, and I'm playing on the third string, I play the 11th, and then 10, uh, 12, and slide up to 15. Okay, and then I'll play 10, slide up to 12, and slide down to 7 on the second string. Very nice. I love that. Okay, so that's the first part. 
And the second one starts out, I'm playing the seventh on the third, the fifth, and then a uh, fifth hammer on to the seventh, slide up to the tenth, and then we'll play five, slide up seven, down to three. Okay, so it's like this. And that is it for the John Mayer solo portion of the solo. Okay, uh, let's take a look at the solo that I put together for you. Um, it's in the key of D, um, and I'm gonna. It's mostly gonna rely on the D major pentatonic slash B minor pentatonic. Now, both of those scales contain the same notes, so however you want to think about it, that's fine. All the chords fit into that. Now, uh, there's gonna be an occasional nod to the D major scale uh, through basically just thinking about the chords. All right, and we'll come to those bridges as we cross them. All right, so let's play the whole thing first slowly so you get an idea of what it's there. Just like Mayer's solo, it goes through the main progression twice. Okay, so here we go. Let's go through the first part, which is this. Okay, so that's over the D to the B minor, G to D. Okay, over that D to B minor, we're just playing one note. <laughs> okay, we're bending up on the third string ninth. We're bending up a whole step and bending it up, dipping it down, back up. Now, what's cool about that one is we're bending it up to the third of D, which is an F sharp, and that's a chord tone in both of those uh, both of those chords, the D minor and the I'm sorry, the D major and the B minor. So we're bending up to a third, always a good play. All right, so it's better than playing the third directly. All right, second part is this. All right, so here's a place where we depart from the major pentatonic, and we play a note in the D major scale. So uh, right here is sort of normal. But then this right here, we're bending up on the seventh on the second string. We're bending up a half step and bringing it down. So, so why are we doing that? Well, it's trying to capture this idea that we're playing from G to D. So you hear that? That's all. That's all I'm trying to do is to get that. Uh, we're bending up to the the G right here, which is the the root, and then bending and letting it come down to the third of the D chord. All right. So that's that. All right. Second thing over the uh, uh, the next progression, A to B minor. Is this. Okay, so the first part's pretty straightforward. Over the A, we're just simply going to play this. And then down. So the first part's really easy. We're just going to slide up on the third from the 9 to the 11th. And then play the A. What could be better over an A chord? Play the A. And then getting back to the B minor, we'll do this. Notice in the B minor. Again, we're going to play this G idea. 
Okay, and I kind of like that because we're doing some interval stuff here, but we're going uh, on the second string. Again, there's that G to the to the third of D. And give it some vibrato. All right, so that's the first half. Okay, here's the second half. So, again, that's over the G to D and then A to B minor. Sorry, the D to B minor and then the G to D. There we go. Got that right. So um, the first part is basically the same as the John May Mayer line. So here I'm playing 10. I'm doing his floating idea. 10 to, to 12 and then sliding up to 15. And then ten, uh, 12 to 15, sliding up to 17. And then bending up a whole step. Okay? So far, so good. And then on the, uh, on the G to D... That's just basically a, uh, a D major arpeggio, right? With a little... Starting out that... Um, I've, I felt like... It's called for sort of an Almond Brothers sound to it, so so to me that sounds a little like some lines in Jessica. So that's what I was doing there. Okay, so I'm going from the fifteenth, uh, pull off to the fourteenth on the first string, and then coming down via arpeggio. That's the fifteenth on the second, fourteenth on the third, and then instead of continuing in that position, I'm just going to come down because my my next line is going to be in the normal position. So I'll bring it down. Slide down to 12, and then slide down to 11, all right? Okay, now on the uh, last part is over these chords. Okay, so first part is pretty straightforward. A little more rhythmic than uh, much of the rest of the solo, um, but again, we're doing that sliding up to the uh, to the A, and then uh, playing the the B on the B minor. All right, that's the last part. So that's sort of a Hendrix chord part, right? So we're playing on the fourth and third, seven and seven, and hammering on to the ninth on the fourth. And then playing just seven and seven. And then, uh, then we're playing the fifth and fourth. All right, and that's just uh, hammering on. All right, and that's just um, that's just playing seven, to, uh, hammering on to eighth, pull it off, and then ending on the on the uh, root tenth on the uh, of the D, which is the tenth on the sixth string. All right, here's the whole thing again. And that's it for that solo.
Okay, so what are some other things that you can do when you're improvising? Well, you know, obviously you can kind of go nuts a little bit more on that B minor pentatonic, but instead of just doing that, I think what it makes sense to do is think about some of the other effects that you can do that work really well in R&B, mainly using double stop uh, intervals. So double stop thirds. Double stop fourths. Double stop sixths. Double stop six and octaves. Hendrix chord stuff. All right, so we're going to use kind of all that sort of stuff to uh, improvise as we're going out and just give it a listen. And that's it. Right, gang. Well, there you go. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Um, it's a full full service on this one. Gave you the actual solo and chords to jam on, and then an example solo of how you can take it in your own direction. All right. Until next time, we'll see you on down the road. <laughs>